almost done. I'm gonna do that later on today. Right now we're going to do Fred's address change because he's now Ontario resident. Ooh, that knocka 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 knocka. What's up boys? So we're back home. I got some parts. I know how you guys, everybody on the inter internet seems to like uh, unboxing videos, so picked up these ball joint. Uh, I'm fucking content. Oh yeah? Finally, I'm happy. Did we win the lottery? No. I now have a good credit score. Time to fuck that up. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I bought uh, the connectors that I needed. Ball joint bolts. Got my two Willwood Masters and the freaking injector clips. Well, I, I hope this is it. Mm. Should be the injector clips. All of this big box for these little beauties. Woo! Thanks, Carl. Damn. Damn, Daniel. Hey. You guys want this? This all star performance part number 56286. Yeah, with shim so you can adjust the height of the ball joint. Sweet. So here we have a Willwood 78 Brake Master. Comes with hose, two external um, reservoirs. I'm only going to be using one for both uh, both masters because I got two masters. And then the other one's actually going to go for my clutch master on the Evo. Ooh, ooh, ooh! I like it. Awesome. So my injectors are all plugged. Everything is plugged right now. The car is 100% wired in the engine bay. I still need to do two wires, three, four, five. All right, I got the uh, new starter signal and 12 volt switch ignition. I have the fan relay that goes to this wire to power up the fans, which I still don't have. I gotta get some fans. And I got the fuel pump relay, which right now I'm just hardwiring the fuel pump to get it to start. And the battery ground, which is the new negative all the way to the battery. I still need to buy a two and three quarters to two and a half, but everything is wired and that makes me super, super happy. So the new crank signal, this makes me very happy. Goes on the side and then into the wiring loom. Still need to get a new GM bar map. Still need to tie wrap a couple of things down there. Add some gas. Plug up the ECU and computer and try and see if I can get this bad boy to start. But it's 618, so I'm gonna go inside, eat supper, and get back to work on this after supper. You just turn the tab that's on top. Oh, and then shit. turn it and then pull up. Will it start? <laughs> Got the wiring all done. Went to pick up some gas. <laughs> Probably. Kids, kids, don't drink monsters. Stay away from the devil. Did you ever see the video of the? Uh, there's like a Christian lady. She's showing the symbols Way. and saying it is the devil. Way, dude, she's fucking <laughs> crazy. The M, the it's like uh, three ones that make the like devil. Like they're not touching, and if you reverse the can. <laughs> You need more air, dude? Huh? You need some knots? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I'm good. You're not connecting your uh, Actually, turbo it. piping? Huh? You're not connecting the turbo piping? No. No, it's gonna run any anyways. Huh. Go! Just brighten in the right two things. Click on mine. So it did. Oh, maybe, yeah. Alright. We're you getting closer! Do you know what all your teeth uh, are? Like uh, your new crank thing, your new cam thing, and. It's better than before. It blew it over a thing or? No, it didn't blow a hole. Alright guys, it didn't start. We're getting closer. There's something to do with the cam and crank uh, wheels. And uh, I also have to add an engine ground. <laughs> That's why the starter wasn't turning at first. We figured that out. Uh, I figured that out. Yep, yeah, Gab figured that out. I bought these ball joints. And we'll see if I have to run uh, extended control arms. I'll 
probably do that uh, sometime this week. But we're getting closer. At first it was firing back into the intake and popping this off and this. I have to get clamps actually. The couple of days later I've been having a lot of trouble trying to get this little bad boy to fire. Uh, my wiring harness is all good. Everything is good. It's picking up all the cam and crank signals. So um contacted Kigley Racing to find out what the actual specs are to run this 12 to 1 cam crank ratio. And they gave me some numbers so... I'm just trying to set everything up right now. Um, I'll show you guys what I need to do. So in the AEM, I'm just gonna connect to the ECU. Boom, baby, we're connected. So what I've having, what I've had to do is uh, first let's just go into coils and injectors. Turn off the injectors. We'll just leave the coil packs open, doesn't matter. So in the ignition sync timing, I've had to lock ignition timing at zero. And basically what I've done is I've taken the coil pack number one, added a little wire here. This is actually a stock Evo wire, spark plug wire that normally goes to a coil pack and then jumps. And then you have your timing light. The timing light basically, you can't really see it now, but on your crank, you have a top dead center, and then here you have uh, top dead center, five degrees before top center, 10 degrees. So you gotta lock the ignition timing at zero, which I've done. And then you put the timing light on the first cylinder, then you crank it over and the timing light will shine, and then you play with the adjustment. You either advance or retard the timing until this little line here that's on the crank line, lines up with that one. I'm just going to take a little video. Oh, I'm going to try. Whoops. So basically you use the timing light to align those two points and then you have your top dead center. All right, another thing that I've done is I went ahead and I bought new spark plugs. And also, I was looking at my tune and I came across something. Basically, I had coils one, two, three, and four popping off exactly how the instructions told me to do, which was on tooth zero, coil one pops. Tooth 18, coil 2 pops, and by coil, so 1, 2, 3, 4. But then I remembered, hey, Evos have sequential uh, popping. So basically, cylinder 1 and 4 fire at the same time, and then 2 and 3 fire at the same time. And the way it was working is, for every stroke, instead of popping 1 and 4, it was doing 1, then on the next stroke, 4, 1 stroke, 1, uh, 2, Next stroke, three, when they should be popping at the same time. So basically, the engine was running on two cylinders every single time I was cranking. So I came up with this plan. Instead of uh, wiring them in dual, is I made all the coil packs. So coil number one fires on, on two, zero and 12. Coil number four, Sparks on coil 12 and eight, uh, 12 and zero. And for coil number two, fires on 18 and six. And coil number three fires on tooth six and 18. So that makes them sequential. So four and one will pop at the same time and two and three will pop at the same time. And hopefully that's my problem. Uh, Cause it feels like it was flooding like right away, which makes super sense, like a lot of sense. I'm just going to gap these spark plugs, then we'll try and uh, fire up again. And hopefully uh, my tune will be good. I did notice I went through the footage and that the timing isn't 100% exact. So if it starts, it's going to run really, really poorly in my opinion. It might be a little bit too much advance. But I, I'm alone right now and I can't really do both. And also it might have been camera angle because it was to the side and not completely in the front. Um, but yeah, so that's what I'm going to do.
All right, guys, obviously, like I said, if it was going to start, it was going to run rough. Especially that the intercooler piping isn't bolted up. I still have no tune done, absolutely. And I still need to time the ignition timing. But the thing with the coil packs worked. I'm pretty stoked about that. Woo! I could always be the one you want to call when it's cold outside. I will always be the one that's right here standing by your side Open up your heart and let me in I promise not to break you I promise